What's up, everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California, and we have another breakdown for you today on Jeff George. I've got a couple times that people have, have asked me about doing a breakdown um, here, but there is one guy, and I, I wish I would have looked at the, the, the actual name for um, the, this, this particular individual who has left a few comments about Jeff George and really looking into his uh, mechanics, but I want to give you a shout out for you know continuing that to ask about this and, and we are making this Jeff George video specifically for you and the request for you. So uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. I will say the interesting thing about Jeff George is he has a very, very similar release to Josh Allen. Um, and I'll explain why. Okay, so you know the big thing that Jeff George was was very, very um, famous for was having the really strong arm and unfortunately he was a little bit um, older, so we're not going to be able to get very much great film film here. But um, what stands out, so um, what, what stands out here is the external rotation, right? So his ability to um, from this position, he does a pretty good job getting to that initial 90-90 um, spot. But then from here, he does a great job of firing that elbow, and he doesn't let that ball to get very far back behind. It's almost like a Michael Vick type of a of a release as well. Michael Vick had a very very um, a very good release as well, uh, or a very strong arm as well. And then from here, what he does is he brings that elbow through, and when he brings the elbow through, he has a, a great ability to keep the ball back behind him as the elbow is coming forward. So it's, what it does is creates external rotation. And what external rotation is is that ability for that elbow to bend backwards and have that ball back behind. So then from there, he creates a lot of with uh, internal rotation or like a snap forward with the throw as he's coming through and and when he does that he actually uses a lot of wrist you can see how when he comes it's all um, wrist just because afterwards you can see how that elbow kind of stays up and extended so you know he gets a lot of, of wrist flicking in the actual throw um, and it really comes from you know initially stretching the shoulder and then from there going into that that large Again, like wrist flexion, wrist flick, that is where he creates the majority of his range of motion from. Okay? Um, another thing that, he, that he's able to do, and this is the, why I say that he's really similar to Josh Allen, is because Josh Allen does this as well, where he creates a lot of rotation in the thoracic spine. So really, he's not the same as the, uh, you know, some of the guys like uh, Carson Wentz, for instance, where... You know, he's generating a lot of power from his lower body. Even like Andrew Luck, who recently did a breakdown on, on him. Andrew Luck does a really good job of creating um, power out of his lower body. Jeff George, I mean, he's very stable in that front leg. Um, and, and he probably pushes off that back leg a little bit. But really, it comes from that rotation there in the spine. And then also being able to create a lot of external rotation in the arm as he's coming forward to be able to, to create a lot of snap in the ball and uh, delivered a good solid pass there good strong pass i mean that's where the arm strike comes is that that external rotation to wrist snap right and then in initiating that with creating that um, hip and shoulder disassociation which we've talked about that before the hip and shoulder disassociation is as he's turning notice here how he how he starts twisting that upper body and when he's twisting that upper body he's able to keep the hips facing more forward Right, so see how the hips are facing forward as he's twisting his upper body towards us. So that's the hip and shoulder um, disassociation, um, and that that just is a ability to really access your obliques. Okay, um, the obliques are the muscles that are in like that that mid torso that helps you rotate. And by being able to get those hips to start moving and and create that disassociation between the hip and shoulders, now he's in a position where he can better access those those oblique muscles, um, which even more allows that, that, you know, really excellent range of motion in the shoulder to be utilized in, in the throw. So um, as much as it's kind of a, of a rarity to see people that utilize most of their upper body for their throw um, and have a lot of success there, I will say that Jeff George is one of those guys that, you know, just has that strong arm because of, um, because of how well he's able to rotate in the spine as well as what he can do within the that shoulder with external rotation and then really finish it off with the wrist flick. I do think that wrist flick is going to be is a very very important thing that's something that you got to be able to build up as a quarterback is you got to be able to really be able to get that that wrist uh, to come all the way through and, and create some um, velocity there. There's a couple guys that talked about that. I think Michael Vick talked about that. I think Aaron Rodgers has talked about that and there's been a few guys that have talked about being able to create a lot of 
um, forces from their, their wrists is a, a big reason why they have the, the arms that they do. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching these videos. If you want to learn a little bit more about you know how you can improve your mechanics, uh, you can go ahead and, and download our ebook, our blueprint to the perfect throw, throw ebook. Or um, if you already downloaded that, or if you want to even learn more, you can check out our online throw program. Online throw program is very, very valuable for individual like workouts and individual breakdowns that could help you in bettering your overall mechanics. If you want to check out a video about that, we have one on our page where you can see more about our actual um, ability to to break people down and see the the improvement that, that people have when they go through our online program. So, um, yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching these videos, and we will see you soon.